The other day I saw a comment on one of my blog posts about loneliness and wanting to drink as a way of coping with long, lonely evenings at home. And I realized that I don't think I've ever done a blog post on the topic of loneliness before, which is a bit strange to be honest because this is a really common trigger and it's something that I often end up talking about with the women who take my Getting Unstuck course. I know there's a bit of a stigma around admitting that you're lonely, but honestly, I've met people from all walks of life who have experience of this. And I also wanna share that for me personally, loneliness was a factor in my drinking too, particularly during a, a certain period in my life when I'd moved across the country for work and so I didn't know anyone and I was having a lot of long, empty weekends of my own. Drinking and recovering from drinking seemed to help ease the loneliness. It provided a bit of comfort, I suppose, and, and acted as a bit of a distraction. So if you feel a bit stuck at the moment because you are unhappy with your drinking, but alcohol is also how you cope with feeling lonely, then I get it. And there are two suggestions that I want to make for you, two ideas around this. And the first one is just to step back and see the bigger picture if you can. Because when you're in the thick of things, literally dealing with each day as it comes and you're handling your feelings hour by hour, it's easy to believe that alcohol does somehow help you cope with loneliness. But when you zoom out and take more of a bird's eye view, what you might see is that alcohol is actually what is keeping you stuck in your loneliness. What I mean by that is alcohol never makes your lonely feelings go away. It's not fixing them. All it's doing is helping you just like, look the other way for a brief moment and turn a blind eye. But there's a big, big problem with that strategy. Because when we're using alcohol, this really powerful drug that makes us feel quite crap, physically and mentally, when we're doing that, it's much, much harder to then find the motivation and the get up and go that's actually needed to do something about your loneliness. It becomes much harder to take action, to try new things or venture out of your comfort zone. I mean, certainly when I think back on my drinking days, I know that when I felt hungover and tired because I hadn't slept well and I felt like such a failure because I kept saying I was going to stop drinking and then I didn't, well, when all that was going on, that version of me would never have said, oh, do you know what I'm going to do tonight? I'm going to go out and try a new hobby. I'm going to do something a bit different where I might meet new people and make new connections and new friends. Honestly, that would have felt impossible to me back then. Too much, too daunting. And to be honest, that version of me acted like a bit of a victim sometimes. Like I wasn't very proactive in reaching out to the friends that I did have and speaking to them on the phone or organizing something for us to do and look forward to. All I ever felt like doing was sitting in front of the TV and thinking about how hard things were for me. I guess my point is, alcohol is a false friend. It isn't relieving your loneliness. It just seems that way for five or 15 minutes. In the long term, all it's doing is keeping you stuck in those feelings. It's the same with anything really. If you drink because you're bored, alcohol won't solve that either. But drinking will keep you stuck repeating the same habits and patterns that have created this life that bores you. So that's the trap there. And I think getting a bit of perspective and standing back to look at the bigger picture is a great first step. So that's my first suggestion. My second one is to let your uncomfortable feelings be felt rather than trying to smother them. So as drinkers, we quickly get into the habit of trying to squash every uncomfortable emotion. 
We want to push all that stuff down and only feel the good feelings. But that's not how things are meant to work. We're actually meant to have the full human experience of ups and downs, light and shade. We wouldn't really be able to appreciate things like joy and happiness if we never ever experienced the flip side. Besides, a feeling often has something to tell you. It's like a warning light on your car dashboard. It is giving you information. And the solution isn't to get a piece of paper and cover up the warning light on your dashboard so you can't see it. The warning light is telling you that your car needs fuel or it needs something fixed. So just as you wouldn't cover up that kind of warning light on your car, I mean, you wouldn't do that. You don't want to cover up and ignore your lonely feelings. It's actually good to know what you're feeling so you can decide whether or not you want to do something about it. What is the worst that's going to happen if you just sit with the loneliness and feel it? A feeling is just a group of physical sensations that you feel in your body. You might find that a certain feeling is not as bad as you think it is once you just let it be there and be felt. But look, if you do decide after a while that actually it's a bit too much, you can still get some distraction from that without drinking. This is what Netflix is for. Sometimes it's the escapism we all need. But when you choose to numb out with TV or something like that, you aren't going to suffer afterwards. Because perhaps later that same evening or first thing the next day, you're going to feel different. You might feel more inclined to take some action or an idea might have come to you that you are actually going to do something about. You don't get that with drinking. When you are weighed down by alcohol, it is really quite hard to do anything above just functioning and getting through the day. And that means you end up needlessly repeating a lot of the same habits and patterns and feelings and experiences, whether you like it or not. And you deserve better than that, don't you? When you're clear headed and hangover free, more possibilities will just open up to you. They will. More ideas and solutions will find you. So I'm Kate B. Wherever you're watching this, scroll down and leave a comment for me. Let me know if this resonates or if you've had to overcome loneliness on this journey as well. I'd love to hear about it. I hope you have a great week.